What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com. In today's video, we're gonna check out a Blender add-on that significantly upgrades the snapping capabilities of the program. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so Quick Snap is an add-on for Blender that basically adds upgraded snapping functionality to the program. So if you've ever used programs with snapping like SketchUp or AutoCAD, or um, it looks like he's based this more on Maya and 3ds Max, um, you, you know that some, sometimes the snapping that's built into Blender isn't necessarily ideal. So you can download this either through Blender Market, it's 80 cents on Blender Market. That's a way to easily support the developer a little bit, um, as well as the Blender Dev Fund, or you can also download download it for free right here um, by downloading the zip file from the code and then installing that. I'll link to both of those in the notes down below so that you can try this out. And basically what it does is it allows you to quickly snap objects um, based on vertices and origin points and other things like that. So like I said, I'll link to it in the notes down below. Basically the way it works is you install the add-on so you can look at it under your preferences right here and you activate it by typing in whatever this keyboard shortcut is. In this case, um, shift control V is default, but it gives you a list of the different hotkeys that you can use inside of the tool. And so the way that it works is you need to select an object and then do a shift control V on your keyboard. And notice how you can mouse over this and you get different points based on different locations on this cube. So currently you have access to the vertices right here, as well as the object origin. Um, I think he said he's trying to add edge midpoints and something else in the future, but at the moment, this is what's active. And what this does is this allows you to click and drag and move your object, and it's gonna find the different verte vertex points right here that you can snap to. So um, for me, first of all, it works a lot better than the typical Blender snapping, and I can actually see what it's snapping to, which I think is really valuable. And so when you're done and you wanna go ahead and you wanna snap this, you can just let up on the object right here. And so one thing that I wish that it did is I wish that, that it supported a single click and move and then click again, but it doesn't currently do that. So you do have to click and drag. But with this active, you can tap the keys on your keyboard like this, so X, Y, and Z, for example, are going to lock you to this various, these various axes. You can also do a Shift X, Shift Z, Shift Y um, in order to lock this to those other directions as well. Um, then you can hit the Escape key to cancel if you don't actually want to move this. And so one of the things that I really like about this is if you activate it, it actually highlights the geometry in here um, so that you can actually see what you're getting the snap point from. Then you can click and drag and make this movement right here. So placing objects is really easy. It also works in edit mode. So if I select these two objects, hit the tab key and then select this face and I do a shift control V and click and drag. Notice how it's going to work in edit mode the same way that it works outside of edit mode. So it's really easy to do the snapping inside of objects as well. So in addition to being able to snap to those points, you can also find the object origin right here. So for example, if I drag the origin over top of another object origin, I'll get this bounding box right here showing me that it's going to snap to that object origin right here. And again, the way that it toggles the geometry on visually so that you can see it um, is a really great implementation because you can really tell where everything is inside of Blender. And so note that this will also work on curve points. So if I do a shift control V and I pick up this curve point, it's gonna allow me to move this curve right here as well. All right, so to me, this represents a massive upgrade in the snapping functionality for Blender. Coming from like a SketchUp CAD background, this is a lot closer to what I would expect from a 3D modeling program like this. Plus you can download it for very cheap or free. So to me, totally worth it, but leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.